but here if we apply a square wave the integration of this square wave will be a triangular in detail if we discuss it suppose that something like this the output response will be something like uh, suppose that if we start from here charging of the capacitor charging of the discharging of the capacitor and then again charging of the capacitor and then discharging of the capacitor and similarly if we increase the frequency of this on off pulse or a square wave something like this then we will get a square wave sorry then we will get a here triumph or you can say triangular type of waves so all this we have seen into the theoretical part now let's design it into the multi seam and uh, see what we have discussed here and what is we will get into the multi seam so let's design first of all the first order filter select a capacitor and the resistor from here okay so flip rotate it and connect this capacitor and resistor together take a power supply from here ac power supply connect it and also take a ground that's good now connect this capacitor and power supply and with the resistor connect this ground and let's see the frequency board float okay so connect this uh, input terminal here of course this is negative it will be connected with the ground and this is output it will be connected here now let's change our capacitors and the resistor value as uh, we have discussed in our examples so make it 4.7k and the capacitor is the 47 nanofarad run it see it is 0 db gain you can see see here 0 db gain and now it is attenuating ok see here minus 3 db let, 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 let's see at minus 3 db uh, we were uh, getting a minus 3 db cutoff frequency it was something uh, 700 uh, 700 uh, just, just just let me remind it uh, it was 712 i think or something like that uh, fc the cutoff frequency which uh, we, we, we which uh, we have discussed there Mm, yes, uh, it was a uh, 720. So the, it was a uh, 720 hertz. So let's see at the 720 hertz. Okay. See, at the 722, it is almost minus 3.021 dB. So we can assume it. Uh, very precisely, I am not able to uh, set it. So at a 720 hertz, the 3 dB cutoff frequency is minus 3 dB. 
okay similarly uh, if we delete these segments let's delete it and uh, replace this low pass filter one more time that means uh, cascade it together now let's see what will be the final result so here control j connect it with the ground now let's see see here the minus 3 dB frequency has been decreased from the 720 Hertz to almost I think uh, it is around the 250 Hertz or uh, you can say let's let let me set it very precisely yeah the 270 or 72 Hertz you can say so as we have already discussed in our tutorial if we increase the order of the filter so it uh, deteriorate the signal frequency response of the filter now let's see the final output into the oscilloscope if we delete it also delete this segment let's see into the oscilloscope okay the two channel take a two channel oscilloscope from here connect it here and of course this is negative it will be connected here this is output and this is final ground now run it if we run okay so the here one sorry the 120 VRMS let's decrease it or we can set a scale from here okay 100 and also the channel B make it 100 so here you can see there is very little phase shift very little phase shift and uh, and also let, let, let me set it very precisely one okay to decrease it okay so there is very little phase shift and the amplitude is almost same huh? so now stop it and uh, let's change the frequency response to the 300 hertz okay so th at the 300 hertz almost uh, means the of course the signal must be attenuated somehow so that means the at, at the some level uh, if we can uh, figure out here the signal is attenuated here somehow uh, means at, at some level uh, if we change the output segment color from here let's make it uh, uh, something green now see here okay the final output is decreased has been decreased now let's see the final transient response okay so the RC so the AC transient response or a single frequency AC you can see from here at a particular frequency what will be the transient response and at a given input what will be the transient response we can see from here so if we take uh, for a 10 second response okay just save it and let's see the what is the net this is net number 4 and this is uh, net number 3 so what we need here in the output we want uh, we need we want to see the v3 and v4 now just run it see here in the final uh, transient response the everything is fine so the filter is our filter design means the means the filter is a stable filter that means the filter is stable filter 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड इस्टे ट्यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल